Kairi I did. <laughs> And I'm sick and tired of seeing people getting beans. It's like every time I turn on my computer, there's another gift of someone losing thousands of dollars with a Roblox item. So I'm gonna teach you a thing or two about not getting banned on Roblox. First off, you gotta do your homework. There's a thing on every Roblox item called a UAID. Okay, so here's a Roblox item called Madness Face. And really quickly, I'm gonna go to UAIDs, as you see on the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and click a random one. And as you see, it looks pretty normal, a couple days. And then you see this, it goes from seven months to 10 days. Now, this isn't an exact call out, but it does seem really suspicious. If I go here, it shows a guy has 150K at one point and has 1.2K. The grab spikes are actually insane. And if you were to go here and see this, uh, the, the, the guy, he literally just goes from like this much to nothing. I think it's better to be safe than sorry because if you look like a case like this, it's kind of suspicious. It could either mean that they USD bought it which means that the person who had it originally could have sold that item or items, and then people bought it out. Or it could mean that they did some gambling. <laughs> no matter what, if Roblox Automation tracks it and finds out that this happened, I personally would be very careful about what you do with this. And don't use the Roblox black market to buy items. There's a reason they're so much cheaper than buying the Roblox items with actual Robux. And a lot of time, it doesn't even show the UAID item, which makes it so much more riskier. Overall, just don't be stupid. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to see it.